huge, massive immigration changes happening on November 16th, guys. Remember this date, it's very important because it's going to mean if you are getting your immigration done in Canada or not. All of the immigration programs are changing. And you have to remember, November 16, it's very crucial to remember the date. The system of NOC classifications is going away and Government of Canada is implementing a new system. What it means for you guys, we're going to be talking in this video, what it means for you, what are the implications, what is the new system like, and what do you have to do in order for you to get your immigration done? And remember the November 16th, because that's the date that a lot of people would have to do changes to their profiles to be eligible for whatever program they are applying under. It's going to make a huge impact on your immigration process. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to this YouTube channel. It's your guy Igor here. By the way, if you are searching for a house or a mortgage anywhere in Canada, download the free mortgage application. You can get yourself pre-qualified. You would know your budget. Wherever you are in Canada, if you need a pre-approval, need to relative my wife with DLC Clear Trust Mortgages. If you download the app or follow the link, you can get a pre-approval. You can get your mortgage anywhere you are in Canada. Follow the link in the description of this video. And if you are in Calgary, Alberta, then contact me directly if you are searching to buy or sell real estate. I'm a realtor and I can help you personally find your own home and your dream home, first time home in Canada. Okay, now let's get back to the video. Here is a little bit of history on what has happened. NOC categories. Do you remember this complicated name? Guys, NOC categories or like this, you would get an occupation, you know, there is a code, for example, and then you would have to match your occupation in order to qualify for immigration. So it will include the NOC code, like NOC 0, A, B, C, or even D, guys. So then you would search for your occupation, for example, information systems, uh, something, or a truck driver. So you would check, you know, through the NOC code that you're qualified on what's your job title, what are responsibilities and duties and things like that. To qualify yourself using that NOC code would be really important for you currently, in the past and in the future, to qualify under a certain program. So you would know, for example, which NOC code applies to you. For example, if you are filling out your express entry profile, you need to know your NOC code, either, either it is A, 0, A, B, or C, or even D. Now, of course, for most of those programs, you would need an NOC category O, A, B. But the problem is that system, the government of Canada has found out. No, I really love that system. I applied through NOC code myself to get my permanent residency in Canada. But they found out the flaw because on the category B, you would have so many occupations. In fact, the distribution was over 40% of people were falling under category B. And some of those occupations that should be in the category C would be still falling under category B. So the government of Canada decided to change that system to make it more balanced and work better. And they are going to change it on September 16th, uh, uh, November 16th, sorry guys. So what it means for you is that you would have to go, if you are currently in an Express entry profile. Here's the implication for you guys. You would have to, right now, it's still under NOC categories, so you're fine for now, but on the November 16th, you would have to go to your profile and you would have to update your category to a tier system. That is a new system that government of Canada is implementing on that date. So now the trouble is the good news for you and the bad news for you. The good news for you, your occupation that might be falling into category C right now, which doesn't let you immigrate through express entry, could be in one of those tier categories. And I'm talking about tier category 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4. And there is also a 5. It is very important that you update your profile because you might not get your Canada PR. You might not get your invitation on time. Now, here is why they did it. So, for example, there used to be a distribution, a distribution where, let's say, for the NOC category O or A, there was a 28% of all applications were on category NOC O or A. And then there were 42% fell under B, and then 24% under C, and, well, 
6% under D now with the new system of the tier. It's going to be 9% under category O, 19% under category 1, and then 31% under category 2, then 14% under 3, 18% under 4, and 9% under 5. So what they're trying to achieve with this new system is to make a better balanced immigration system that is more fair for immigrants. But what it means for you guys, if you are currently, you have all your paperwork and you have everything ready, whichever program under immigration you're going into, hurry up, hurry the hell up and apply for your PR. Because when the changes hit, you might not be eligible anymore to get your PR in Canada. So if you've been waiting guys, like I have to be rude with some people on this channel, if you've been waiting for your immigration to be done, if you're one of those people who are, yeah, I'm not in a rush, I'm in the US but you know I'll be waiting for my green card for the next 20 years uh, but I can get my PR but I'm just too lazy to apply do it now do it right now before the system changes because if it changes and it kicks you out of the tier system into one of those tier system parts where you're not qualified to immigrate to Canada you're out you have to wait your 20 years for your green card in the US most ridiculous system in, in, the, in the world is getting green card in the US. I have a friend from India, basically a, a friend and a relative from India, my wife's brother, who cannot leave United States because there is a two-year wait line in India to get a US visa. So the guy is like a prisoner sitting there in the US, prisoner of the system that they created, waiting for his green card unable to leave the country without the fear that he might not be able to come back if he leaves. <sighs> Talking about immigration systems, Canada is doing a great job guys. Now on top of this you might be actually eligible to get your immigration done faster with this system. But all I'm trying to say is that if you're eligible right now just get it done. Get it done. Don't wait until the November 16th. But if you're out of the system, this news might be good for you because from what I heard, they're bringing 16 new occupations that were not eligible to apply into this new system. And your occupation might be one of those. So if you're not eligible right now, you might be eligible on the November 16th. Make sure you follow the Government of Canada news. And also, a small disclaimer, knowing how Air Canada works in Canada, like the airlines, they're always late. Knowing how Government of Canada and Justin Trudeau works, they're always late. It might be delayed, but hopefully not. Hurry up, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you next video. Bye for now.